Hey everybody, today we are going to work on some tables with some heat rings and some watermarks and we're going to show you some different methods to remove these guys. Uh, now I've done multiple videos on this subject already and I've already showed you some techniques that work. However, in some of those videos we had some people bring up some alternative methods and I wanted to give those um, a little bit of a try as well. So we're going to start out here with two alternative methods that I haven't shown you yet. Um, one of them, and the first one, being hand sanitizer. So now the thing about hand sanitizer, and why I'm not extremely confident <laughs> with uh, it working on this table, is because hand sanitizer, the active ingredient, is going to be alcohol. Well, I believe that this finishes a type of lacquer, so alcohol isn't really going to be too effective uh, most likely on lacquer. Now I can understand where some people are finding say, hand sanitizer to have worked for them, but the finish is going to need to be soluble with alcohol. So at least modestly. Um, this table was not, and therefore it worked a little bit, but it didn't really get rid of the mark for us. It also left a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a dull spot in it. So um, I wasn't too pleased with the uh, the effects of the hand sanitizer. You know, we have to keep in mind, is the finish uh, actually soluble by what the active ingredient is in this product? Like I said, it's going to be alcohol. Um, lacquer is not going to be soluble with alcohol. It will soften up uh, lacquer just a little bit, alcohol will. Um, so therefore, you kind of see the results that we'd expect. It did the job a little bit, but didn't really give us the results that we're looking for. Now another method that comes up quite often uh, is a hair dryer. Now a hair dryer kind of interested me because I have never tried a hair dryer. I've never tried just direct hot heat and we will see later and we have found out in other videos um, that an iron can be quite effective. So hmm, why not a hair dryer, right? I'm going to give this a go for us and we're going to see if a hair dryer will actually remove any of these heat rings or watermarks. Now I gave it um, you know, a bit of time here and tried to get the surface, you know, relatively warm, but you know, I didn't want to burn it. Um, so I wanted to go in there, feel it once in a while, make sure we weren't overly hot. I got the surface, though, relatively warm um, and went at it long enough to realize that the only thing that really happened is it actually got a little bit worse. It didn't get any better. <laughs> so uh, we're going to uh, put a kibosh um, on the hair dryer and say that for at least for lacquer finishes, uh, it didn't really do anything for us. So now we're going to move into a method that we have found to work in the past, and that is the iron. Now when using the hot iron method, um, uh, back to the comments again, um, people mention using steam. I personally have never used steam. Uh, I've never used the steam function, I've only used the heat. And so I can't really say, and since I know that not using the steam works, that's what I typically go with. Um, I just don't see the reason to introduce water to a situation where you're trying to remove the water rings. Um, but perhaps steam works, and if you want to give it a try, by all means. Um, I just don't. Okay, so with the, the iron method, we're just going to learn sort of as we go here. Now some finishes are very sensitive to the heat and this cloth that we're going to use because we want to use um, a uh, cloth between the iron and the surface. Uh, some finishes melt rather quickly and can burn rather quickly and you kind of need to learn as you go. Um, I'm going slower on this now because I've done it a little bit here and I realized that it's not uh, sticking whatsoever. It's really not having much of an effect on this finish at all. Actually, no effect on this finish at all other than uh, just removing the marks. And it's removing them quite well. So as I'm going here, I'm finding out that I can move a little bit slower. But when I first start out, you want to kind of move fast. 
you want to move fast with your iron, um, you don't want to stop, and you want to remove the cloth relatively soon um, and just see what's happening. Okay, you don't want the cloth to stick to the table. And we showed you in another video how easy that can be uh, to have that happen on some finishes. So this one where it's, it's working beautifully and it's removing the water rings um, quite quickly. So as you can see, the iron worked pretty great, right? The iron worked pretty great. It removed most all of those water rings. So uh, we're gonna give it one more little shot here and kind of finish up this side of the table, which is going to basically get rid of, you know, the remainder of the water marks and heat rings on that side. Um, then we're gonna go into a, another method here. And I'm gonna show you one more method that we've done in the past um, that has worked well also. Um, so we're going to give that a shot as well. Okay, now the last method we're going to use here is a product called No Blush Retarder. Um, it's a retarder thinner, uh, lack, it's a retarder lacquer thinner. Um, and it's from a company called Mohawk. Um, and we used to be able to get it from Mohawk and from Balin. Um, Mohawk has since has bought Balin, so it's only available now from Mohawk. And we're just going to spray a little bit onto the surface and give it a little bit of time to see if it softens up the finish and dissolves it. Um, this is typically what happens with it. It works. It worked pretty good on this finish. It took a little while. Um, sometimes out, uh, on this finish it didn't really soften the finish up very much at all. Um, so I had to take a little bit of a brush and move it around a little bit. Um, sometimes it'll soften the finish up, you know, quite dramatically. So, um, you know, you sort of want to proceed with caution with no blush. It's best just to spray it on in light coats and just let it see what happened. I had already practiced with it a little bit on this table, so I sort of knew what I was going to need to do. Um, but it did remove the marks for us. Um, it did remove the marks for us. So it is another tool in our toolbox. Okay, if for some reason, you know, you want to give this a try instead of going ahead with the iron, if the iron doesn't work, what have you, this is another, uh, another option for you and something else that does work and can be extremely effective. So something to keep in your mind. Um, you can order it typically on Amazon. Uh, we're going to give it another try um, on another table. So there's another table sitting here. Now this table is actually going to get refinished. Um, but I figured, well, before I refinish it, let's just go give this a shot real quick and uh, throw some no blush on there and see what happens, right? Um, now, one thing I did here is I sprayed on a little bit too much. And, you know, I was just kind of playing around, wasn't really taking it seriously uh, because I know I'm stripping this finish off. Um, I put it on a little bit heavy, but it did melt the spot away pretty quickly. Now that gray haze you can see in the background, it's actually another piece of furniture casting that haze on there. So, but it took the spot away pretty quickly, um, worked really well. It did leave a little bit of a mark, um, a little bit of a rough spot, so to speak, um, on the finish. I, like I said, I sprayed it on a little bit too heavy. You want to just go, when you use the no blush, go light coats, you know, especially like the first one or the first two. Just mist it on a little bit and see what happens. You can always go a little heavier um, if you, you know, choose to. So, hey, that pretty much wraps it up. Hope you all are doing wonderful out there in YouTube land. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope it helped you. Um, if you enjoyed it, Leave a comment down below, you know, the deal, like us, subscribe to us, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you on the next video. Take care.